That is a fish of a lifetime. Here we go, boy. Wow, we. That thing is a monster. They fight hard, don't they? Look at that magnificent fish. <laughs> the size of that fish. There he oh, is again. The color is incredible. Oh, there we go. The Real Fishing Show with Baba Zumi. Big old. Great Lakes smallmouth. That is a big rainbow trout, Chris. Nice double header. Whoa! <laughs> nice jump. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That is a monster smallmouth. Man, that is so cool. Another one. There we go. The biggest pike I've ever caught in my life. Look at that chunk. Well, that's what we're talking about. Real fishing is sponsored by. Mercury, number one on the water, and Mystic Lubricants. On The Real Fishing Show, we make catching fish like this a possibility. Oh, God, oh, my God, I lost him. Small one, he's coming, it's a dart. Still there? Yeah, he's there, he's very reluctant. That's a good one. It's a big one? Good one. On that black blade, eh? Oh, yeah, that's a oh, good one. Oh, it's a good one. It's yeah, a, a good, good one. one. Ah, that's a nice one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I decided to go with that black spinner, Terrell. Yeah. And uh, sometimes that black, eh, in, uh, on a sunny day, it's a yeah. downplayed flash, but it's still a flash, you know? Oh, yeah, that's nice, but not a big one, but a nice one. Still, we'll take it. Every Fine. muskie's a good muskie, man. Nice hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just slammed it. Just slammed it. Very cool. Get over here, here, buddy. Oh, <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, yeah. I don't want to stop it. I nice. got him. I got him. You caught him in midair. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. All right. Barely hooked there. You want to pass me those pliers quick? Very cool. Yep. There you go. Maybe I can just hand bomb them here. Yeah, got pass him. me those pliers. There we go. Mr. Efficiency Ter Terrell Murata. It's all about care of the fish isn't it these oh, are yeah. such a precious fish such muskies, a precious you know fish. and and uh, you gotta love them i mean we got some incredible musky lakes here in ontario we're on the kwartha chain you know on pigeon lake you've got you know georgian bay the saint lawrence northwestern ontario Dude, look at that bus. very nice all right just you know, a little guy but a fun i love one, these huh? on a tough day i'll take these all day long the clients like yeah, they're absolutely. fun eh Absolutely. And there's a lot of these good fish. Oh, if you could smell what I'm smelling, if you could bottle that cologne, musky anglers around the world would want it, right? Oh, you know. Okay, let's put it back. <laughs> that is awesome. That's the great thing about the quartz is there's so many musky. Yeah, there are, you know, and you got fish that are, you know, all sizes. And uh, I think that whoa, one's going to go whoa. back. Okay. Yep, no he problem. On, he went on his own terms. All right, I'm okay man. with that. Cool. <laughs> got him. You got, this is a different fish. Oh, wow, nice one. Oh, nice. It's not diff, this is not the same one that followed you. you no way. You I nice. swear to God. This is a nice totally fish. different fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Different fish. That's unbelievable. Wow. The fish you have is at least twice the size of that one. Serious? I swear, but it's unbelievable. They're biting, so I'm happy. Wow, we'll that's cool. It. Like that fish there. Maybe we can just get that. You want to just hand bomb that one, or do you think it's too risky to? No, I, we could easily hand bomb it. Yeah. Easily. Here, I'm just gonna grab all the tools. Ready? Yeah. You want me hand bomb for you? Sure, why not? But I'll take take it easy. No problem. That's an easy one to hand bomb. Hold on. There we go. That one there hit close to the boat too, didn't it? Yeah, fairly close. Fairly close. Well, too bad. I thought I had the one you had, but I'm happy with it. Every good, every muskie's a good muskie. That's what I say. There's your, you know, big big tube right there. I call it the garbage bag. <laughs> there we are. All right. Nice. You like that? Thank you, friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Love it. Okay, let's put this baby back in. This guy's got lots of energy. It's tight right now. You can tell it's ready to rock and roll. Oh! <laughs> what we're doing is experiment. We're using the Lorenz with the Navionics, and we're looking for little areas that've got you know, edges where the weeds end and you've got open water very close to weed line, but anywhere is really about a 20, 30 yard band in open water, right? It's unbelievable. And these areas, you and I both never fish. Well, no, because that's the cool thing about mapping now. Yeah. With all the new mapping you've got and people, you know, putting in all their sonar logs and stuff, you've got all these 
edges that you can see now that you could never see before. So what we're doing is we're looking for edges where the weed's stopping on the open water these muskies are. Very basic fishing. Awesome, I'm gonna idle back around, okay? It's a good one. Oh yeah, nice one. <laughs> 40 plus anyway. Wow. Woo. I was just fixing, you know, fixing everything here. Okay. Oh man, he came right out of those weeds. It was so cool to see that. It was unbelievable. Wow. Oh, that's a big fish again. You're making great. Oh my <laughs> Lord. Is you he want to hand bomb that is one? Is he ready? I think we can maybe hand bomb him. He's so fairly good. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think? You want to get yeah, him? Yeah, we could probably do it. It's going to be team effort. Yeah. Once you get him, once okay. you hand bomb him on the one side. I like how he sends me in for it. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that mixed vegetation is <laughs> key. So we've been on wow. a few different weedy areas, and this area kind of some leafy green weed mixed with oh, what, no foil and kind of mixed vegetation. And that seemed to be key. Yeah, and it dropped right off into a clean 12 foot bottom. He called there. it. He said, watch this. And he was bang on, man. Like what, how, oh. 10 seconds before this fish, he says, watch this. He had that, Okay. he knew. I need some help now. You don't have to hold that <laughs> okay. rod. Okay, there's pliers over here. Gotcha. Maybe you got it there. Oh. Got it. Okay. Ready? Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Carol Moretta. I mean, you're not that old to be a legend, but boy, you are catching them today, aren't you? Oh, sometimes you get lucky and get on a roll. Man. Wow. Man. Beautiful. Beautiful. One well, those days. let's get this baby back in. What do you think? Oh, man, aren't they pretty? Let's get it back in. Drilling that thing. Okay. Very nice. That is a nice fish. Oh man. Great Look at call. That thing. That's a good musky, oh, isn't it? Let's see, that goes. Let's see. Upper 40s. Wow. I'd say that's right in that you know, 46, 48 inch range. Look at that. Oh wow. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This cold water, the cooler water is nice. Eh? They're going back happy and healthy. <laughs> happy and healthy. Coming up. Here we go. Oh, I just got a tick too. Oh, I got one. A little school of them in here. That was unbelievable, Bob. I just got this, we, we just saw like this big fish falling. I thought it was a musky, a lot of musky in this lake, a lot of musky in Cordless. And, and we looked down, it was actually a bigger walleye chasing the smaller walleye. But this walleye is perfect, the perfect eaten size walleye. I actually like the, the ones that are just within the slot. That's a slot limit fish. Look, it looks like something nipped his tail there. It's a dog eat dog world down there. That's incredible yep. that that fish had a follower, you know, in this murky water. You want to keep this one? These are my favorite. I like these darts. Fourth ah, of darts. Let's Let put them, go. them back. Okay. We'll put them back. Are you sure? These are so tasty, really. <laughs> <laughs> the weeds look great there, Bob. That's it. So we come on that cleaner weed. Nice. Now, Bang. I, now I, I took this rod. <laughs> <laughs> when you were looking, you was looking for a sandwich. Uh, I oh, oh I wasn't rod. looking for a sandwich. <laughs> come on. Whoops. I like that. What's that bait you got on there? Put it down for what? Oh, two it's, minutes? It's a little swim bait, a little pro shad. Uh, that's a perfect little bait. That's nice. Oh yeah, so I got the I got that that jig head, this nice hot pink jig head too. Look at that. And you know what? We're in the Corthus and we got that invasive species. These fish are chewing down on the old Goby. And that's why you have Here, that. Let's see, now you need uh, sneaky. You stick. need uh, you need a longer arm holding that fish out. You need like put a hockey stick. Yeah, but these something. are this is a typical slot fish in the quarters, and people love to eat fish about this size. And you get a lot of these within the slot. Yeah. You know, a lot of places you go, it's trouble to get any fish to take home. Right Most on. of the fish here in the quarters are within that slot, so 
That's a typical eater right there. Oh, I'd be a good eater, yep. but we're putting them back. Come on. Come on, Bob. You sure? Are you sure? <laughs> I don't need any. <laughs> That's funny. I was watching you on the graph and you were working. I just felt, mark that for me because it's all of a sudden looked good. The yeah, as, there, as right? you started to come off this point and it dropped down. Yeah. And this is just a point out in the middle of the lake. On the Navionics, you can see it perfectly though. Might just spot lock it there. It's right on the tip of that point. Woo. Starting to come on a little bit of breeze and bing, bing, bing. Nice. A Mr. Floppy. <laughs> Bob, what's this Mr. Floppy called? <laughs> The pro, pro shad. <laughs> oh man, this thing's just flapping down there like a Mr. Flappy. They're loving the flap, eh? <laughs> nice. Is there a goby relation to these walleye at all? You uh, tell me. I don't know. I think this is this a, a goby just or a just swim a... bait, man. There's minnows here, right? There's perch. It looks kind of like a Euro bait. They're deadly. Euro. <laughs> <laughs> Europe, they love flappy. Well, Euro catching them, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I just got a tick too. Oh, I got one. <laughs> a little school of them in here. Of... Very cool. Yeah, we went to a little bit slopier area and right away. Very Maybe it's cool. a slopey thing. That's oh, a Oh, you got a thing. little cigarello. Oh, cigarello. Oh, Get you a one. better one. Oh, that's nice. Woo. All right. Bing, bang, boom. A little Kawartha walleye right there. I guess Flappy is getting better bites than the old. Uh, well, I you, did miss a good one on that Glidey. You got right? a grub. Yep. Little power grub, but I'm using a little swim <laughs> bait that? here. I might, I might. Can I take that one home and use it as a keychain? Or no? here, you can put that one in, in this is mouse. <laughs> He's cute though. It is cute. It's so <laughs> very sharp. Put a put a release right back in here. All right, got one. Yeah. You're just sucking back this oh, thing. That's eh? a better one. It's a little bit better, yeah. Yeah, it's a better one. I don't know. You uh, with that light line, be careful. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's only true. that's only four on there. I'm, that's I'm loving it, man. <laughs> Downsizing, make these four these smaller fish feel like giants, you know. Yeah, that it's little fun. rod is rigged for crap. Fun. I like that finesse touch. It's great. Nice. You miss one? Oh, nice no. little pan size fish. No. That bite, that bite finder is on fire. Four pound test and uh, there's a fish. Grub. He's got one. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Bobby. Oh man, we're talking, we're talking baby. <laughs> That's a little bit more chunky than the last one. Eh? Anyway, yeah, and this one's a little bit small. Mixed sizes. I think we're due. Yeah. Good keep stuff. going. Keep going. Keep pounding them. Wow. All right. Coming up. I need a day off to catch fish and be guided by one of the world's best guides, Bob Zimmy. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, nice one. All right. I just missed one there too. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. One. Nice, nice. You are the man. I'm just trying to get rigged up. You know what I've been doing, I've been telling them, no, not that bait, that bait, keeping them busy changing this bait so I can catch them all. I need a day off to catch fish and be guided by one of the world's best guides, Bob Azumi. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, my, <laughs> my pressure, my pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Had to be a little tricky about it, though. <laughs> nice. nice. That's a nice little these. walleye. This, and you let know, me the, tell you. The thing about the Quarthas are there are so many lakes to fish. You know, today we're on Rice Lake. Uh, the other day we fished Cameron Lake. I mean, you've got sturgeon, pigeon, all of the lakes have good populations of various species of fish, you know, but, but I know the walleye is a popular one, isn't it? And the lakes are all so close to each other. Good one. Nice walleye. All right. Well, there's a few boats out today. It's a weekday, but it's flat, calm. And uh, you're getting them on the jig. I think that one hit you two or three times. I'm, I'm going to rig up a crankbait and I'm going to just uh, tie up a jig. I, I've got to get set up. You're killing me. <laughs> got him? Yep. Nice. Oh. How's, this guy set the drag so loose on me. <laughs> it's not my rod, it's Bob's rod. He goes oh, you, so don't need, you don't need net for that one. That's just a nice little, yep. nice little walleye. Nice one. That one there, you can just hoist it up. What do you mean I set the drag? 
A guide <laughs> is supposed to check the drag every time he picks up a rod. As a tournament angler, we do that, Terrell, but you know, come on. I've missed so many here. Yeah. Bing, bing, bing. Nice the eyes. drag was so good, I got to tighten up this oh, thing. Yeah, I'm putting a jig on, that's crazy. I'm putting on one of those little swim baits. No, like try here. that other jig crankbait down there in that bag. <laughs> He's catching him. He thumped that he thing. He thumped it, eh? First cast. Same bait? First cast after I put that little swim bait on. Which yeah. bait is that? Sneaky. Same yeah, bait you're maybe. using. It's a nice one. Oh, it's a nicer fish. Not bad. Not, Not bad. bad at all. That's so fun, but, but if you're going to keep them now, there's slot limit here, right? So that one there is... Within the slot. So for that sure. one is definitely keeper, right? Yep. Look at that, just hooked right through the nose. Life is good. I, I, this is my favorite walleye lake to fish in the world. Right. Honestly. Is that is. right? Because just the way it fishes, there's weed lines, you can fish them like largemouth style sometimes, mm -hmm. crankbait, um, oh, yeah. relatively shallow water. So it's not like you're trolling in the middle of nowhere. It's a really a feel game. Well, feel the weeds, feel the bite. And I love that kind of, that feel the techniques you use. Well, the here. crazy thing is, is I just rigged, that was literally the first cast, quarter ounce little, you know, essential jig. I would just swim bait stuff, man. Whatever you, oh, there's a fish. Oh my God. This is nice? getting really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's bigger than the last one. There's one, you got one. <laughs> We're talking double headers. <laughs> you know, the funny thing about the Quartha Lakes too, it's close to millions of people, right? Uh, <laughs> close to millions of people, you know. You got Toronto and Oshawa and Mississauga. Hamilton. I like that. See this? What? He spins that way and then sometimes he spins that way. You like that? Uh, I guess. <laughs> you know what they say, whatever turns your crank. <laughs> He's turning my jig. <laughs> <laughs> the so. jig is up, pal. <laughs> so they are on. <laughs> They're thumping it. Eddie. Aren't they hitting Holy it hard? Cow. Now one of the things. Well, that's a better one. Oh, that's a nice one. I'll dip him for you. Coming around you. Nice. Oh, nice. Slightly more chunky. There you go. I'm just lifting him up there. Oh man, they're thumping it. They're thumping it. And look, it's bluebird sky. Unbelievable. And, you know, and that's but, why this lake's so good. But the bugs are out too, and yep. the water's got good color. Nice. Nice. You know, the funny thing is, is what we're doing is very easy technique to fish too. We're just casting out the quarter ounce jig heads, letting them sink right down to the bottom, and then just lifting it up off the bottom and swimming it. And then letting it down again and just basically i'd say what running a, about six inches to a foot off the bottom yep. and uh, right there. <laughs> my um, jig's sliding off just hitting some weeds there are some fish there but the whole key is you know is just every now and then just stop it and that bait swimming and then sinking down and then swimming and sinking they're down. hitting a lot of those bites are hitting on the rest there's sometimes there's a lot of gobies in this lake now and without within the quarter so when the bait kind of well, i like to drag it drag it and then rest it and that moves like a, a goby they kind of dart dart and then stop and when it stops the wally's just like Doop! they hit it off the bottom the old goby you know? so at times when on a goby chew it's a good one and goby chew is worth that we're talking we're talking some pretty heavy duty gobies in these lakes oh now. yeah coming up that's it's big. big it's a big one Big one. Oh, that's a big walleye. Oh, yeah. Good job. <laughs> Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. Many of the very oldest techniques in angling have been forgotten over the centuries. The art of dapping is one that dates back to the earliest days of fishing, even before the time of Isaac Walton. This involved the use of a very long pole from which a fly or bait was danced vertically on the water's surface. Back then, anglers knew this method brought fish to the surface in a hurry. In modern times, you never see anyone plunking away to bring fish topside. Most of us are in too much of a hurry, preferring to cover water when looking for surface action. Like any good technique, dapping has value given the proper time and place. 
We've experimented with several species to date and are always surprised how many are willing to participate. In any situation where flipping is an option, dapping will bring fish up. It's all about working close to cover and over top of those tight spots. A long steelhead type rod is a necessity. Take it from us, fish simply can't resist anything splashing on the surface over their heads. Once on a drive to Brook Trout Lake, we stretched dapping to the limit. Tying up a sack of plastic beads, we presented this to the brookies. We then enjoyed a wonderful afternoon of sport, playing a little brook trout volleyball. Better one. It's a better one. Is it? Yeah. We're talking. Unless I got, a, unless I got him. Oh, he's oh, big. That's it's big. big. It's a big one. Big one. Oh, that's a big walleye. Oh, yeah. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we just moved and you said we're going for bigger walleyes. And here we go. You said it. Oh. <laughs> How did you know? Look at that. You got that a lion's head. a big walleye for the choir says. Nice. Look at that. Good Woo. thick one. Look at his eyes. Like a, it's a loony eye. Loony? Yeah. Loony. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Nice. Nice job. Oh, yeah. I love that. It's a good fight, too, eh? You nice are the chunky. man. Nice and chunky. <laughs> I call him the fish whisperer. The guy knows how to get it done no matter where we fish. And, you know, Terrell, um, in the choruses, of course, last fall we caught all the muskies. Uh, I think we got nine uh, that one day alone before, what, noon. And then uh, we were on uh, another quart of the lake, Cameron, between rain and wind, we caught all kinds of walleyes. Now we're here we are on Rice Lake. Does it get any better than this though? This is awesome. I love the quartz. This is my favorite way. My, this is my favorite lake and the quartz is my favorite place to catch walleye. We're dunking in these weeds, like we're largemouth fishing. It's really interactive. You can see what you're doing. You're just not like fishing in the middle of nowhere most of the time. You know? Well, today it's sunny and there's a bit of a breeze now. It was calmer earlier, but- Get this but one back in the water. It's easier to see. Just go right down yep. there and release that. Yep. All right. You know, the cool thing is though, Terrell, is that uh, um, these walleyes really are thumping hard today. They're hitting it good. And uh, one of the cool things is, is they're aggressive. I mean, I they're know. hitting these swim baits, just just gliding them along bottom, and uh, hey, life drag is it, good. Drag it, rest it, dead. Life is good. <laughs> the Quarthas. Yeah, man. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Uncle Bobby. I heart Uncle Bobby. <laughs> Too hot? I think so. <laughs> Real Fishing was sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water, and Mystic Lubricants. Let's size that baby. That thing's got some weight to it. <laughs> size that puppy right there. That is that is just wild. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. <laughs> Bob is my favorite uncle. He's sort of like an uncle. You treat me like one, you know? Always make fun of me, beat me up off camera. 